Cardano is the third generation blockchain that is packed with the potential to change how we approach technologies in many ways. But first, we need to go over the first generation blockchain, Bitcoin, and the second generation blockchain, Ethereum. Many of you probably already heard of Bitcoin and how it's like digital gold. Some of you may have already heard of Ethereum as well and how it is like a new internet or something that you use to buy cool NFTs or simply a cheaper Bitcoin. The definition of Bitcoin being digital gold is quite accurate because of its security provided by the blockchain technology, limited supply, and the self-fulfilling prophecies surrounding the coin being a digital gold. However, Ethereum is a bit more complicated than that, thus it's called second generation blockchain. Ethereum offers smart contract capabilities within its network, allowing cool apps to be built on it, and those are called dApps. To use any services offered within the Ethereum ecosystem, users need to pay something called gas fee. Imagine a digital truck that transports Ethereum from one place to another, and the truck needs gas to move. In other words, it costs to move Ethereum. And here comes the problem. When Ethereum was built in 2015, the developers didn't anticipate Ethereum experiencing such fast growth. So Ethereum was not built to handle such large volumes of transactions. So due to the bottleneck, the gas fee on the Ethereum network has skyrocketed and made any small transactions not economically viable. In fact, the typical gas fee now ranges between $10 to $60 and potentially even more in the future. The Ethereum community has realized the challenge and is now upgrading the entire network to version 2.0. The process is, however, extremely complicated, so it is now projected to be done earliest in the late 2022 or 2023. And even then, it might not be enough to solve its core problem. And here comes Cardano! Cardano's founder was one of the founders of Ethereum and has since left to create Cardano with more advanced technology. The network is by default built to handle much larger transactions while also offering a largely decentralized blockchain ensuring a very high level of security. The transaction fee is as low as 0.16 to 0.17 ADA, which is around 19 cents considering ADA is $1.2 at the moment. Additionally, Cardano currently has one of the most engineering development activities out of all the blockchain projects. It is also important to mention that ADA, Cardano's native currency, has capped the number of coins to 45 billion. Another thing that is quite unique about Cardano is its dev team and its philosophy. They focus heavily on academic research when developing Cardano blockchain, so their development work is relatively slower to make its foundational engineering work and its economics rock solid. This is actually quite unique in the blockchain ecosystem as many other blockchain project developers are taking a more rapid and experimental approach. And that's it. Pretty simple, right? Well, we did oversimplify many things. And we have more videos coming regarding Cardano, so stay tuned. And if there's anything specific you'd like us to cover, let us know in the comments below. Plus, if you like our videos and want to support our channel, please consider staking our ADAs to Maxima Pool. The link is in the description. And thank you guys for watching.